From the B.C. Premier, an urgently launched probe. The core question of how a violent, psychotic individual was released into community to attack innocent people is the question that needs to be answered. Former Abbotsford Police Chief Bob Rich will lead an independent review into Blair Donnelly's case. Accountability will flow from the determination of how we got into this position. Donnelly was allowed to leave this forensic psychiatric hospital on an unsupervised day pass before allegedly going on to stab three people in Vancouver Sunday. He was incarcerated here after killing his 16-year-old daughter in 2008, a crime for which he was found not criminally responsible. Documents first obtained by Czech News in Victoria and shared with the CBC reveal Donnelly had been labelled a significant threat to public safety as recently as April. The BC Review Board described Donnelly as an unpredictable person prone to violent episodes. He stabbed two other people while in custody and had a high risk of relapse. The document said all the incidents occurred without warning signs and that two relapses occurred after lengthy periods of remission. Mr. Donnelly has no insight into his deterioration. He requires significant supervision to ensure he does not cause further harm to the public. The BC Review Board has denied CBC's request for the documents and has declined an interview. Donnelly was allowed out without an escort, despite that recommendation from the board, a decision made at the discretion of the Forensic Psychiatric Hospital's executive director. The Provincial Health Services Authority has initiated its own critical incident review and says it's cooperating with all other investigations. There's an issue of competence here. Uh, and um, the public deserve to know that if there are, were mistakes made, that they're being addressed so that there is no likelihood of a repeat in the future. And Michelle, we've learned about some of the questions Bob Rich will be looking into, right? Yeah, so Bob Rich will be looking into two questions. One, how is it possible that someone was released without an escort when the review board recommendation was that they have supervision? And two, are there other people out there that fit this profile who do have day passes? Now, uh, Rich's review will start right away. EB says he will be given access to all the people and documents needed for the investigation, and the top priority will be public safety. All right, Michelle Gasub in Vancouver.